GBP USD weekly analysis. I'm loving this analysis video more so because we are doing weekly analysis. Let me tell you, if there's something that I have really enjoyed analyzing, the time frame that I really enjoy analyzing is weekly. Because let's say you come and see the market has given you a buy, and then you start on Monday buying the market, you have five days to hold that trade. Let, let me tell you, if your analysis come from the weekly time frame, you are supposed to hold that market because you can imagine this is how weekly candle closes. You can see how the big it is. 300 pips, hey, 300 pips. And then we had this another weekly candle closing at 186 pips. So in two weeks, GBPUSD has bought 478 pips. And, and imagine someone who hold it for a whole week and then they found this bullish momentum candle or bullish end gap and they say, let me hold again. They have banked 400 and something pips. So guys, these weekly analysis, they are very important. And that's why I have realized I don't want to do weekly analysis. Then we go to daily, then we go to four hour. It's like we are confusing ourselves. I have just done a video on the Euro USD weekly analysis. And I have said on Euro USD from the weekly perspective, we don't have a clear indication where the market wants to go or what it wants to do. Yet it's bullish, but because it is ranging, go and watch that video, you know what I'm saying. So when I come to this weekly uh, analysis, for me, uh, I I'm tending to think, what if this is a reversal all along? Like the market has been reversing. You see, the market was back in 2021, the market was all time highs. And then back in 2022, so it took a whole year to sell like this. That year, 2021 to 2022 was a crazy year of GBPSD. It was just selling. The USD was very, very strong. Another thing I don't know you guys if you know, when you're trading GBP USD, let's say this is what you're trading. If you're trading GBP USD, uh, GBP USD is the base. This one is the base. The GBP is the base. And the USD is the put. So the USD is the put. So the GBP USD is the base. The GB, the USD is the put. Ah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I've written USD. The USD. Put. So the USD is the quote. So what happens is that if the base buys, if the base is strong, let's say GBP, they are very strong. If it is very strong, what will the market do? The market will buy. So if you see GBP, USD buying, 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 it means the base is stronger. If the quote is very strong, very strong. If the quote is very strong, the market will sell. So with that, with that lesson, what do you think was was very strong? What do you think was happening uh, around uh, 2020, 2021 to 2022, the whole of the year? Is it GBP that was strong or USD that was strong? Which, which currency was strong? Of course, the quote was very strong, USD, because when the quote is strong, the market sells. And then when now we came to 2022, what has now been strong? Pound has been very strong because when the base is strong, the market buys, okay? So I, I need you to, to just realize that anytime you open your chart, you have to have that in mind, okay, guys? Now, GBPUSD is very easy to, to analyze it on the weekly time frame without even going to the daily for hour. And this is how I want us to analyze. But there, guys, I just want to make uh, a clarification uh, out there. I do not trade for people. I don't do any sort of investment. I don't sell Bitcoins. I don't do, I don't trade on behalf. So there are so many impersonators, eh? scammers out there with my name, profile, everything, trying to scam you guys. This is my number, this is my official number. If you are interested with my course that is available, that has 12 modules, just WhatsApp me directly. And once you get this number, you're talking to me directly. I offer 10 profitable strategy at $1,000, but if you don't have $1,000, you can start building your skill and knowledge by buying only one strategy at $100.
and from one strategy you can build it so if you have five hundred dollars you can get five five strategy if you have two hundred dollars you can get two strategy if you have the full amount just buy the full package okay guys so i want us to I want us to do the analysis. Let me delete everything and we get into it. So uh, I have told you guys that beside having a resistance, beside having a resistance and a support, for me, I have come to realize that in the market, we have something we call sell zone and buy zone. So if you want me to explain to you this concept of sell zone and buy zone, and it might be different with what other people call it. Because even for me, when I ask my student, what do you think support is? What do you think resistance is? Majority of my students, I find them going to Google. And I tell them, uh, in this class, we don't Google. In this class, the information and the knowledge that I teach is from the Holy Spirit. And I, uh, the last time I checked, the Holy Spirit is the way he told me what is support, what is resistance. And I think that is the the time everything changed. Just understanding what is support and what is resistance. Majority of people will say oh, it's a roof, it's a, it's, a, it's a ground, it's an area, demand supply, all those are found on Google. But you know, when the Holy Spirit teaches you, he will teach you something and you're like, ah, is this for real? So uh, from teaching my students what is support, what is resistance, I have all, also, um, I've also introduced cell zone and buy zone. So from these videos, from my videos, you'll hear me saying sell zone, buy zone. If you want me to define it more further, just buy even if it's one strategy. In fact, if you buy one strategy, I will tell you about sell zone and buy zone. That is a promise, guys. So you have to you have to come with once at least one strategy will find that sell zone and buy zone being explained because it's part of the strategies that I'm offering now. You need to understand, guys, that this market has is on our sell zone. And what happens when the market is on a sell zone area, we are looking to sell. When the market is on a buy zone area, we are looking to buy. So the reason why I'm saying this market is on a sell zone is because we don't know what might uh, what might be happening. What if this is a retracement? Can you see the market has been going down? So don't be fooled by this buy and think, oh, the market is a strong buy. When you squeeze your chart, you will understand that market might be on a sell zone where the market might buy. I was really uh, banking on this double top, but the market said, no, no, we are not giving you double top. We are not giving you double top. So you can see even the, the market has broken that double top. They, the buyers are really, really strong. So what I can tell you guys on GBP USD is that uh, expect the next candle. So for me, I'm expecting the next candle if it will be red. And this is the one I will tell you. If it is will be red, we are getting into our battlefield. If the candle will be green, <clears throat> this market might continue to buy. And at this point, it might buy up to there where it is almost touching. That's a, almost 156 pips. So we can have like a doji, like a small doji green, or it can even tap here. And once it tap here, I will do more analysis. So there's still some room for this market to go here. And all I'm doing, I'm using sell zone, buy zone, support, resistance. That's what I'm using. So I'm just telling you for GBPUSD, the weekly candle is very, very important. That coming week. And that's what I'm saying. It is the hardest week to trade because that week is what is giving us a monthly candle. So if if you are going on lower time frame, it will be I, I don't know what I can even say, guys, because this market has really um has really gone up. So the retracement can be very crazy, guys. You can imagine if if you get a retracement back to this place. That is so many peeps. So Avoiding a market, it's not bad because that is 547. Even if, if the market attempts to retrace. So there's a first area they can retrace. They can also retrace here because these are resistance that has been broken. The market tends to come back. So next week, we don't know if this market, will the market come and tap that area or come and retrace here? That's what I'm saying. For me, I'm waiting 
And you will hear, guys, when we we have a confirmation from the weekly, I'll be coming here and tell you, ah, weekly, we are, we are good to go. It's a buy. It's a sell. But right now, GBPUSD, mm -mm. we have a pending confirmation that I'm waiting because we don't know if it will retrace or it will end. It's like um, the same points, the same pips. So GBPUSD, I want you to understand that this market, they, they, they are using a trick. And the trick is the market cannot just buy for two weeks, 476 pips without a retracement. Guys, some retracement might happen. And if retracement happens, you might be wiped out. So I want you to be very careful. And I'm not saying that on lower time frame there will to be opportunity. Remember, this is a weekly analysis. When I do weekly analysis, in a week data, the market has not given us a go ahead either to buy or to sell. But when you go to lower time frame, if you are trading GBPUSD, don't hold more than four hours. Be enter with sessions. You can either trade London session, New York session, Sydney, Tokyo, just trade sessions or trade uh, after four hours, come out, just trade and then target 30 to 50 pips. Don't over target. That's what I'm trying to say. Because when I check on my charts, weekly time frame, we have no confirmation. Okay, guys, all the best. And um, I can't wait to do analysis on GBPUSD and EURUSD after the monthly candle has closed because I will know exactly what the market will do. I'm just waiting for pending confirmation and that candle, that weekly candle, that the next week weekly candle is very, very important, guys, for me and my strategy. So again, uh, thank you for watching my videos. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to start learning step by step, just purchase that $100 one strategy. If you want three strategy, purchase three strategies. If you want 10 strategy, buy the whole package. Because once you buy the whole package, there are a benefit. You get, you get lifetime mentorship. You get added to the WhatsApp group, the follow-up group that has more than 500 students. And also you get to enjoy any kind of strategy that I will ever offer for free. Okay, guys. All the best and see you in the next storm. Bye-bye. Love you.